What's up YouTube? Haven't done a reptile room update for a while, so I thought I shall get one done. I've got a bit of free time, so uh, let's crack on. First of all is my sort of new addition to my family, and this is uh, this is Jasper, uh, my miniature Jack Russell puppy. He's 11 months. He's a little sh shit, but that's what puppies are. But yeah, that's Jasper there. Say hello. Hey, he's a gorgeous little guy. Um, but yeah, on the reptile side of things, not much has changed. A uh, couple of mix-ups with the enclosure, enclosures made uh, made a few changes. Apart from that, uh, nothing really much has changed. I'll start with the most obvious, which is the rainbow boa, which was in uh, a rub <coughs> in my last video, I think. Now he is in a Vivzotic uh, three-foot Viv which I've managed to swell already. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, because uh, I haven't sealed it, and I accidentally left the fogger on overnight, a couple of nights ago, and it has swollen the wood. But apart from that, it's all well. Uh, he's heated by a halogen heat lamp, guarded, obviously. It's uh, an energy-saving thing. 42 watts makes 60 watt of no sense to me, but yeah, uh, and that seems to keep the temperature as well. I mean, there's a, the stat and the thermometer, uh, which are reading 86 and 86 F and 74 percent humidity, which is perfect for him. Uh, the humidity should be up a little bit more, but uh, I let it drop quite a bit before I spray or turn the fog on again. Um, anyway, in here he's in a snake, an exoterra snake cave hide thing, a uh, fake plant. Water bowl, he's got his cold end hide, which has got moss in to help him shed. Even though he's a great shed, he's just come out of shed. Um, lots of branches because they are semi arboreal at this age. Uh, I'll just show you him, he's just come out of shed, like I said, he'll be under here if I can just get this out. Yeah, there he is, there. Uh, male 2010, Colombian rainbow boa. Uh, let's see if I can get his head out. Uh, he just fed yesterday as well, so I'm not going to stress him out too much. Just there, uh, his colours are coming out quite well. It's a shame that he loses colours though when he's a bit older. Um, at night, down the side here goes white, and these spots come out really well. I've got a photo of that uh, somewhere, but it's amazing the colour change. But yeah, that's that little guy in there. I'll let him get back to sleep since he's nocturnal. There we go. Uh, next change would be my little female Amazon tree bow up here, Garden Phase. Uh, what's mainly been changed in here is I've just taken out some of the bigger branches and replaced it with some bamboo. This little ball thing here is anything special, it's just a uh, I don't know if you can't see that because the light on the camera, but you can see the reflection on my hand, it just changes colour. Uh, it's a light that just changes colour, it looks really good when the fog is on, but not when it's not. Uh, and then here, there's, there she is there, her head's just on the side, so unfortunately I can't get to it. Uh, you can sort of see there, but the rain, uh, not the rain, the water droplets are just all that. Anyway, she's still quite nippy. Uh, to say the least. Um, she's on orchard bark, which I should have mentioned the same as uh, the rainbow boa. She's on orchard bark with, um, like I said, a ton of uh, a ton of bamboo for the climb across. A couple of fake plants. Uh, see if I can get it to turn around. Actually, she just was fed yesterday as well, so I don't want to stress her out too much either. Especially considering she's not very friendly anyway. Uh, no, I don't think she's gonna. Play. But anyway, um, yeah, fake plants, bamboo, a couple of thicker branches for it to, uh, to perch on. She's got one of those weird halogen heat lamps in as well, but she's also got a ceramic um, at the top there, the one on the right, the silver one, uh, which is studded to for the night temperature. Because obviously, the day the the, um, the halogen goes off when all the lights go off. And then the ceramic takes over, even though the ceramic's on now. 
I uh, should have mentioned probably that this guy's got a a dimmer start and at night is on a heat. Well, it's got a heat mat at night, which is under here. Which is just there, you can just see it there. Um, so yes, that guy's heated by that on a dimmer and the mat start at night. The Amazon's heated by the halogen and the ceramic through the day, but then the halogen goes off and the ceramic takes over. Uh, just to give a good photo, um, just give a good photo cycle. Uh, sorry, Jasper's trying to get in shot. But yeah, sorry, just to give a good uh, photo cycle. That's why the halogen's on and the ceramic. Um, I could have just the ceramic on and she'd probably be happy with that, but I, I like to be able to see them through the day and have a good photo cycle. To the left of that uh, is the Cresties. Uh, Marley's in there. Be quiet, Jasper. Marley's in there. Uh, so again, it's wet off the off being sprayed. And I think Rocco is going to be. Yep, there's Rocco there at the back, making the move. Um, just got in here bamboo, vines, branches, a ton of fake plants. Again, orchard bark. Crested gecko mix them to eat. Uh, the cave, which I keep meaning to put the uh, the link up to where I got it from. Uh, it needs a bit of a clean actually because they, they tend to walk through their food and get that just everywhere. But uh, um, these took uh, a year old now, so I'm hoping to, to look into breeding these pretty soon. Might pick up another female from Donny uh, in literally about three weeks now. Um, so yeah, I might pick up a, a female from Donny. Uh, get a good breeding trio on the go. See if I can't produce any nice little babies. Uh, up here is the WH colony which is it's not huge it's not massive um, let's see if I can find any um, they will seem to be down at the bottom as you'd expect a ton of tiny ones there you go there's quite a few there not a ton but still if I lift this one up there will probably be even more and he's not. Um, they'll probably be on the other side since the heat that they get is at the back. So if just give me a second. Yep, there's quite a few of them there. And a small, but anyway, everyone knows what roaches look like. Um, that's the W roaches, and they feed Hunter, which is my bosk. Uh, she is sorry, there's tons of shit in this room. She is um, she's doing really well at the minute. She's really tame, uh, far too tame as it happens. Uh, she's in a six by two by three, two paws for heat, and the UVs up there. Uh, that yep, there you go. Um. And the two paws actually heat this really well. Uh, you open the door and you just get hit in the face by the heat. It's unbelievable. Um, she's doing really well. She's uh, a bit lazy at the minute. I think she's just going into the shed. So she's not in the best of moods, but she's still handleable even now. Uh, she's on topsoil and play sands with a three foot cork bark tube, which she normally fills. Hey, just a bit. Which, uh, not Phil, sorry, she, if she lies in there, she's almost the, the length of it. Uh, so she's going really well. Water dish on that side, a couple of bricks just to divide. So when I take the water dish out, the soil doesn't fall under the water dish and all that. Because that's something I don't like. Jasper. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I think that's all for her, really. She, not, not much has changed with her or anything, really. Just a couple of mix-ups. Uh, Things I'm planning to get from Donny is a female Cresty. Uh, I want to get another, um, another 45, 45, 60. This one here, another one of those for the tree boa. Keep that for Rocco. So Rocco, the male Cresty, will go in this 45 cube. The tree boa from here will go in a 60 high XO. The new female from Donny will go in this 60 high XO with Marley, so that'll be the two females, Cresties, the male Cresty, and the female Amazon Tree Boa in Exos. Or, 
Oh, I want to get a one of the arboreal Vivzotic Vivs, uh, partition it off, have the rainbow boa in the bottom of that and the Amazon in the, the top half. Uh, and then obviously Rocco will go in the 45, the male crusty, and put the other female in with Marley, obviously after quarantine. Um, so yeah, we really looking forward to Donny though, it's only a couple of weeks away now. Quite excited. Um, but yeah, my next update will hopefully be pretty uh, pretty soon, if not Donny. I am off this afternoon with a mate of mine to go and get uh, a couple of retics from Glasgow and from Newcastle, so it's, it's a bit of a road trip just to get a couple of retics. But I think he's getting a white tiger and a shh and something else. I can't remember the other morph. But yeah, um, so looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, until next time guys, thanks for watching. And uh, comment, rate, thumbs up and all that jazz and subscribe. Thanks guys.